Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro Comp. Everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm one of the cool kids again. Springfield Armory sent me their new pistol. Now, I'm a little late getting it out because frankly, I wanted to take my time to put some rounds to this and review it before I even looked at it here in the studio with y'all and we are gonna go back out there. So without further ado, today we're gonna review the new Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro Comp. It's a mouthful, definitely not a handful. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, as you guys have probably seen here, it comes in a pretty flashy uh, vault uh case here for reviewers. So I thought that was a pretty nice gift from Springfield Armory. Again, full disclosure, they did send this uh, for review. Uh, the first Hellcat Pro, the non-comp version that I reviewed here on the channel, uh, was April 1st, 2022. So it's been quite a while. It's crazy how time flies, isn't it? Uh, but we're gonna take a look at their new comp. Just real quick, cool vault tech case, okay? I have a lot of these in my personal life, so it was pretty cool to see that when I opened the box. First things first, it's gonna ship with two magazines, okay? An extended magazine and a flush fit magazine. This one, as you can see, is already loaded from when we were doing some range training a couple weeks ago when I first got this in hand, so I'm gonna put that far away from this unloaded gun. Let's go ahead and get the boring stuff out of the way. We're gonna kind of skim through this as fast as we can here in the studio because I already reviewed this two years ago in detail here in the studio and the outer dimensions are exactly the same. They just added the uh, integral compensator here on the barrel and slide. So uh, just as a brief overview, overall length 6.6 .6 inches, the height 4.8 inches, your width is one inch, Weight is 21 ounces, barrel length 3.7 inches, caliber 9 millimeter, and finishes melanite with a retail price of $6.99. Now I got the boring stuff out of the way. What makes this gun unique? Well, right off the bat, you're gonna have pretty much the same dimensions as the Sig Sauer P365X macro comp. I think I got that right. Now I used to have one of those. I recently sold it. Um, in favor for carrying a Sakato CS and my tried and true um, J frame uh, 360 PD went with a clip draw when I really need that deep concealment. And there's a Glock 43X in rotation. So now that we have this, we're obviously going to throw it in rotation and give it a whirl for a little bit. Now, uh, special feature, of course, you guys came here to see what the new ported barrel is all about. Now, I already put about 200 rounds through this uh, a couple weeks ago, and before I shoot my suppressor reviews out on the range, I like to throw a couple mags through this and just kind of get used to it uh, so I can do kind of a long-term review on it before I just spit out a review. If you go to YouTube right now and just type in Hellcat Pro Comp, there's like 100 videos of YouTubers that got these ahead of time like me and got the review out as fast as I could. I didn't care to be the first. I wanted to really put this thing through the ringer, through the paces, and just have fun with it and shoot it to give you my honest opinion on it, okay? Again, besides the ported barrel, it is optic ready. Uh, they shipped this test unit here with a shield uh, SMSC, okay? Without flagging myself. Uh, this is a always on optic. Uh, works just fine. Of course, they sent it zeroed. Thank you, Springfield Armory, for that. Probably my favorite thing on this gun, I know it's going to be weird for some of y'all, but I love the U-notch rear sight with a really bright, you know, fluorescent yellow uh, front tritium sight. Um, my eyes can pick up these highlighted, you know, the white highlighted U-notches very rapidly. Um, I'm probably going to go through other carry guns I have and try to see if I can find similar sights. A lot of the U-notch sights on the market don't have the white outline. Um, to me, I'm just myself training, I can pick that up super fast. Uh, so definitely like that. From my shooting already, now we're gonna hit the range and then I'll give you my conclusion at the end. 
but just right off the bat, one thing I do not like about it uh, is just my personal hand profile. I have medium sized hands is the squared edges here on the back, the back strap. After shooting it for probably six to seven mags or so, I start to get a little sore here on the palm just from the way the recoil impulses here along that right edge. I've used subsonic and supersonic ammo through it just for shits and giggles already with no malfunctions. And I can tell a difference between the comped and uh, non comp version. It's not night and day. So don't get any weird, you know, fantasies out there that you're going to go out there and shoot this thing and it's not going to move at all. But the impulse is softer, not as sharp. And it is a lot faster to pick up that, that dot a lot faster through multiple uh, rapid firing strings. So it is noticeable. It's just not magic. Okay. And I dare to say it is better than the X macro comp. 365 from SIG. Again, that's, I wouldn't call that a true comp. That's just a slide with some venting cut in it. The barrel itself is not ported like on this Hellcat Pro Comp. As you can see, this is an actual ported barrel. It lines up with an actual ported slide. Uh, so again, on the SIG, you have just a non-ported barrel and then you have slide venting cut in for their compensated model. So this is more of a true integral ported carry handgun. So without further ado, let's get out of the studio, put some more rounds Before down. Before we right get now. shooting, a quick word from our sponsor, Capital Armory. They're the nation's largest silencer dealer and have expanded their silencer shipping ability to multiple states with even more on the way. They can still ship directly to Texas residents, but they can now deliver silencers directly to your door for those in many other states. The process is simple and keeps everything in house. So there are no additional dealers, transfer fees, or headaches. They manage the entire process from start to finish to make your life easier. The process is very simple. Once you purchase a silencer online through their website, you'll be contacted to begin your online customer profile to provide them with fingerprints and other necessary information to complete your e-file form 4. After the ATF approves your form, Capital Armory will initiate electronic transfer paperwork with you and your silencer will be mailed directly to your front door. And the best part is, your customer profile only needs to be done once, so you'll be ready to go for all future orders. Head to CapitalArmory.com today to learn more. Can anyone else appreciate we are literally living in the golden era of carry guns and suppressors at the same time? I mean, think about it. When the majority of us watching first started carrying concealed, we carried Glock 19s, right? And then the world went all to the little tiny, tiny micro compacts. And then we're like, well, shit, those suck to shoot. I want to actually be able to use my gun when I need it. And now we're kind of in the middle point where we have guns like these flooding the market where they're carrying 17 to 18 rounds, comps built in, optic ready. They're thin as hell. It's pretty awesome. I just want you guys at home just to like keep that in your head here. I mean, we are living in a hell of a good time for carry gun selection. Yeah, this comp. Guys, I'm shooting. 124 grain NATO military grade stuff, hot stuff. Muzzle is not even moving. Failure to lock back again. That was the flush mag. Let's try the extendo. Getting the hang of this trigger now. Yeah, this gun just doesn't move. There to lock back again. Interesting. I wonder if I, oh, hey, I'm squeezing so hard with my offhand, I'm riding the slide stop. Is Brian out? Brian, you want to give this thing a whirl? You want to shoot it? All right. All right, guys, this is Brian. He owns the property out here today. He saw me plinking. He walked up and uh, he's getting the first look at the new uh, Hellcat Pro Comp. So I've not told him about the gun outside of just it looks cool uh he didn't even see me shooting in earlier so I, i'm gonna kind of watch his muzzle rise watch his trigger and then i'm gonna ask you some questions at the end so you good perfect all right man Sounds just good. have some fun thank you shoot 
shooting the cardboard. All right, so I can already tell from you shooting, you're shooting much different than I do. I shoot both thumbs forward really tight, hard on the gun. Right. Because you were just loose with your offhand, you weren't riding the slide stop, and it locked back like it's supposed to. When I was shooting it, I was riding it so hard oh. with my palm, it was yep. the slide would come home on a, on a, on a emptied right. out mag. So just a little observation. All right, give it another whirl. See if you can just dump that all on the steel. Yeah, you're nowhere near the side stop. <laughs> that was easy. So, thoughts? It, again, uh, like... How it fits in your hand, it you immediately know how to grip it. The the your the thumbs are way longer than mine too. Right? Yeah, yeah. Dude. Now I've been getting when I shoot it. When I first started shooting, my hands are kind of used to it now. When yep. I first started started to shoot today, I was getting some pain right here because the back of the grip's more square than it is like rounded. Did you feel that at all or not? Because your hands a little bigger. No, I was gonna okay. say I fit right into. Because it. your hands a little wider, it can kind of like do this, kind of curl right. around it. And I feel like I get a better grip of it because it's a little narrower for even being a double stack. And it's really narrow. That's in. It was so easy to grab. I had to look at the magazine to make sure it was a double. All <laughs> right. So, I mentioned that earlier before you walked up, yeah. Oh, really? All right. Yeah. So, yeah. what about the trigger? Tri I, I went to pull it like half just to feel where the actual brake is. And then, it's, boom. It's, it's immediate as soon as you grab it. It's got enough place so you know exactly where it is. Mm. And then as soon as you pull through, it's there. It looks like a Glock trigger, but it shoots way better. I agree with that. I like it better than my SIG uh, 365 Macro X Comp that I just sold that had that, f that kind of flared out flat face yeah. I didn't really care for that I definitely like this profile and angle the better profile. the profile is amazing and the comp looks... definitely I mean it's hard to tell right if we don't have the non comp one out here but it certainly feels like it is helping I mean you were not death gripping the gun like like I shoot and it it was like no I was it I felt firm it yeah. I didn't feel like it it, I it wasn't the grip. yeah 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 no it's definitely cool I, cool. I like that they actually port the barrel yeah. That's cool. It's not just like ports hanging out the end of the gun. Uh, I believe last time I was out here, if I recall, it wasn't locking back on the last round because I was just squeezing my, my, my support hand, my weak hand palm really hard on the left side and it was hitting that slide stop. So I'm going to try to be cognizant of that right now and just slow it down and see what we can do. Yeah, it's right on it. So I'll try to just apply a little less pressure. Did it again. <laughs> Damn it. Let's see if I can just hold my palm a little lower. Did it again. All right. So for me at least, it's gonna be pretty hard to keep that slide to lock back after the last round fired. However, I am doing a lot better at 25 yards, but let's scoot up. All right. Now that we know I can hit shit at 25 yards, let's try seven. Failure to lock back again. Shot there, failure to lock back. All right, I topped off the mags and let's just mag dump this guy and just uh, 
I just want to see what this recoil feels at just rapid fire pace. All right. You know the irony is I always slingshot my reloads as far as the slide. I don't really use a slide stop, so it's not that detrimental to me, but it's definitely easy to depress that with your palm to ride that slide stop. Yeah. All right, for giggles and shits. <laughs> Let's try 100 yards because why not? Oh, right when I got the holdover, I run out of ammo. All right, let's try this one more time for shits and giggles this time. Ah, <sighs> oh, you Oh, of course. Failure to log back. Whew, I was getting shaky there. But uh, not bad hits at 100, just standing in the middle of an open field. All right, everybody. Conclusion on the Hellcat Pro Comp. So, as you saw, I had a couple issues out there with it failing to lock open. But as I mentioned at the end there, that's not super detrimental to me because I've trained myself over the you know last 20 years of shooting. I just do the over the hand slingshot method to close the slide. I know it is slower. It's just something that is ingrained in me now and it's really hard to kick that habit to actually use the slide stop. Um, it's just something that I always do. So for, it's not a huge deal to me, but it, just take note that it did happen to me. Um, if you are more accustomed to using the slide stop uh, that might affect you uh, depending on your hand size. As far as the back of the grip, we're just going over the cons real quick. Back of the grip, again, you can tell it is more squared off than uh, some other brands out there. Again, it's not a huge deal. I mean, let's face it, I also carry a Smith & Wesson 340 PD. It's a like 11 ounce 357 Magnum. It is horrible to shoot. It you know, everybody asks me what it feels like to shoot that gun. I'm like, hold out your hand and let me hit it as hard as I can with a baseball bat with no catch mitt on. It's pretty much how it feels to shoot that gun. This is nowhere near that. I just notice it is a little uncomfortable when shooting for quite a while. Other than those two uh, things, it, it did quite well out there. It's actually more accurate than I thought it would be, uh, especially getting those hits at 100 yards, just standing up in the middle of a field. thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the trigger did improve over time. Out of the box, I didn't really care for it. Um, it did have some some creep there, and then it, you know, after about five, 600 rounds, it's about what I have through it, uh, it did smooth out. So again, that's pretty typical of most defensive carry handguns as well. The triggers do get better over time. As far as the actual reason why you're here on this video, the compensator does work. I was able to review the footage over and over and over again during my review, during the editing process, and you could definitely tell it is a lot softer uh, uh, stroke and impulse when shooting. Um, so that was very welcome. So it's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty nice, compact little package. And I mentioned this earlier, we are in a golden era of concealed carry handguns right now. Definitely a really neat gun and really cool option. You guys should check out uh, go check out your local range. I'm sure a lot of the local indoor ranges in your area are probably going to add this as a rental. That'd be a cool way to try it out. Um, again, I have not cleaned this yet. I'll show some close-up B-roll here. Uh, quite dirty in there, but nothing too egregious. Again, this has not been oiled at all. I pulled it out of the box and shot it dry. Uh, about 600 rounds. 
zero malfunctions. We just had those failures to lock open because I was writing it with my palm, uh, writing the slice off with my palm. Uh, but as far as you know, uh, actual malfunction, it did not malfunction at all. So kudos to Springfield on that. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I would just, uh, you know, like anything, like I do with my suppressor reviews, I would recommend you guys getting out there, like I just said, trying to rent it, have a friend that has one, put some rounds through it, some real rounds through it, not just a mag, shoot like 200 rounds through it, develop a good opinion of it, and then you guys can decide on your own if you guys should add it to your carry rotation. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Hellcat Pro Comp. Hope Springfield keeps me in mind down the road on other releases. I think it's pretty cool that they thought of me for that. So hopefully they release some other suppressor ready models down the line. I absolutely love the Echelon, especially with a suppressor. It does very well suppressed. I don't know if it's just the lock time or whatever, but that gun shoots amazing suppressed. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully they have some more product SKU numbers coming down the pipeline and hopefully we'll be a part of it. I'll see you guys next time.